Uh, I think I see a player. Hold on. Yep, player right, 200 meters. I'm shooting. As soon as he ducks his head out. Yep. Hit. Killed. He's dead. No shots, man. Good job. Welcome to another episode of Honest Reviews. Today we're looking at Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, a relatively new flavor of the month arcade style game that's really hitting home with the Twitch streamers lately. To answer the question, do I think you should buy this game, the answer is maybe. Let's start with the positives. When comparing PUBG to similar titles such as H1Z1, Ark Survival of the Fittest, and even DayZ, PUBG does a lot of things right that the other titles seem to miss. You still have that classic full-blown autism overload you get from the game lobby of other similar titles. But with a couple of perks to go along with it. For starters, the gunplay is quite excellent, with the weapons feeling both heavy and responsive. Blasting a dude in the face with a 12 gauge never felt so rewarding. The loot system is super well done as well. Unlike DayZ, it takes only 5 to 10 minutes to gear up to late game combat ready state. And unlike H1Z1, the guns don't feel unbalanced. He's inside. Even the super rare weapons like the Tommy gun seem fair. The graphics are also quite impressive if turned on ultra, though for the sake of a 144Hz monitor, I have some settings set to really low, like shadows, which also helps with identifying loot on the ground. Vehicles don't feel spread too far apart, and even when you get unlucky, running on foot definitely isn't as bad as DayZ. Though I think there could be a bit of improvement in this category, particularly the fact that you can go from full health to dead by jumping out of a car moving at 5 km an hour. Playing with a friend is also an absolute blast. I look, look, look at him, look at him pushing up. Honestly, even with just a smidge of team him. coordination and planning. From the house? Dead. I see him, I see him. Headshot. Next one. You and a friend Where? can reap havoc. Cat, dead, let's go baby, six kills and a winner! And have a lot of fun in the process. If you have a group of friends that play PUBG and you're wondering if you should pick it up, for such a relatively low price tag, I would definitely recommend it. But how many kills did you just get? Three. I shot Two that last dude in the head, though. Me. Yeah, well, no, <laughs> one of them was stolen from me. That last one. Good. Now that that's out of the way, people can't just claim I shit on the game for 10 minutes straight. Know that I'm reviewing the game as it is right now for two reasons. One, I paid for the game as it is right now, not for what it will be in the potential future. Two, nobody actually plays these Flavor of the Month games seriously. It's a light-hearted arcade-style game that will at most see two to three months of popularity, then drop off. Let's start with the most popular complaint, the server lag. <laughs> it's simply atrocious. The first two to three minutes of each round is basically just a teleport fest, with people jumping all over the place while you desperately pound the F key, hoping the server recognizes your attempt to pick up a weapon before the other guys. It's a completely broken system, and it needs serious improvement. Like, yesterday. Other roof, other roof! He's down! Other one? Beyond that, there are some other glaring issues, like the field of view. While this isn't a problem for some consumers, it's definitely a problem for enough to become a topic of hot debate on the forums and on Reddit. Restricting the field of view to what seems like a painstaking 50 degrees is absolute garbage in a Twitch shooter style survival game. Aspects of third person wall viewing aside, it gives some people the sense of nausea and absolutely needs attention. 
The developers also removed the third-party INI tweak workaround people were using, citing they'll be adding a first-person-only fob slider in a future update. The sound is buggy as all hell. Attempting to use sound to locate a target is nearly impossible without a lot of practice. Footsteps are awkwardly quiet in some scenarios, and in others can be heard in an entirely separate building. Okay. It's extremely inconsistent, and sometimes a downright advantage for people who don't use voice communications and thus have less background noise. Some of the guns sound like a cap gun being shot off in a tin can. There's also almost zero 3D directional sound. A car driving by will play the sound in your headset based on its location relative to your body, not relative to where your head is moving. So if you turn your head trying to get a fix on its location, you'll be sad to learn it only works if you spin your whole body, creating a footstep sound and potentially giving away your position as well. With all that being said, I have to say I've enjoyed myself quite a bit in PUBG, especially in instances where I had a friend with me. But with the high amount of issues this game has in its current state, it's difficult for me to give it a good review. With just a bit of tweaking, it could be a fantastic replacement for all the other arcade-style Twitch shooters on the market currently. The low 37 Canadian dollars price tag also helps quite a bit. I'd say if you can get a few friends together and buy the game together, definitely give it a go. If you're looking for more of a single-player experience, though, I might hold off for a few more months until some of the bigger issues like server latency can get resolved. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll leave you with a bit more gameplay footage. See you next time. Just a backpack. Let's go find out who's shooting at them. I think he's up top. Damn, that guy yeah, is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He's up top on this building. Hard. The other building. I'm gonna storm with a shoddy. Storm it. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. Damn, I fucked up so bad, dude. I had my first person, and I didn't have a sight, and I couldn't see anything. That's I got gay, him. Man. I got him. What do you mean you got him? Now I'm dead. I got, I got one guy. I got the guy that killed you, but there's two of them there. 